Hi friends, so the question is, is, is it possible to make your lips look at least one and a half times fuller, if not two times fuller, without getting any lip filler, especially since we're more mature women. We have our lips kind of shrinking, it seems like, as we get older. We have lip lines that are the, those vertical lip lines when we pucker, all that kind of good stuff. Plus, if you have those lip lines, you get some bleeding in there. So we're gonna tackle those today. We're gonna fake some lip filler, and I'm gonna show you the easiest way to do that. Let's start out with contouring our lips. Now you wouldn't think that this is a big deal, but it really truly is. When you contour your lips, you're going to make them look fatter. And that's what we want. We want that full pout to go on. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna look at a third of your bottom lip right here. And you're gonna paint underneath that line. You're not gonna go any more than a third. So keep a third of this away and a third of that away. And we're gonna paint right underneath here. So going directly under that lip almost immediately gives us something to go by that we're making our lip look bigger. Now what I want you to do is I want you to blend that upwards into your lip. You want it to be softened. You don't want it to look like a stark lip line. Now, a third of the top lip as well. By the way, this is my favorite one because it blends so well. This is Maybelline Color Sensational and this color is gone grayish. Sometimes this goes out of stock. Put a couple links down below for you. So on this upper, we're gonna paint outside the lines, but this upper, we're not gonna go as drastic as we did on the bottom. So there's just the painting part. Now notice that I did still leave my Cupid's bow intact. Uh, when people go across, straight across the Cupid's bow, I think their lips look a little bit unnatural because naturally everyone has a Cupid's bow. So we're just gonna soften that one as well. Now you can go in with absolutely whatever lip liner you want to, whatever you love. I'm gonna try and do a little bit more of a nude lip today because my eyes and my sweater were so stark. So I am using this one from L'Oreal and this is the Colorish one and I can tell you what the color of it is. It's 635 and I think it says Worth, worth it medium. So let's hope so anyway. So this color right here, I should have shown you Gone Grage as well on my hand. Here is Gone Grage from Maybelline. See how that is just kind of a, it's almost gray, but it's not gray. So it's still gonna give you a really good shadow. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in your lip line and onto that part where you already painted in. So you're gonna go completely over that, but you're gonna pull up the lip line so that you are almost making your this outer part of your lip not look exaggerated at all. We're gonna fake that a little bit. Notice that I am kind of going rounded on the edges right there of that lip and notice that I did not go out into the corner at all. So I rounded everything, brought it in a little bit. That's going to give us a little bit more of a pout. Now all that's left to do is just put on our lipstick. This one is in Nude Lust, I believe. Yes, this is from Maybelline. Purse those lips together so that you are working the lip liner and the lipstick together a little bit. And then just a really pretty, I use a sparkle or a shimmer because I want it to look more full than it even is. And so this one is from the Sephora collection and it is the Outrageous Plump Lip Gloss. And this one is in sparkling pink, I believe. So I'm gonna put this one all over. And voila, you have lips that look more pouty, they look fuller immediately. One thing is we're giving them a ton of hydration. Obviously my lips were a little bit dehydrated when I came in here, but once you get done with that, you can really see the difference side by side. Here's the split look of it. Isn't it amazing how different hydration does? And then that little bit of pout underneath there. If you wanna exaggerate that a little bit more, you can. 
even putting a little bit more does exaggerate that bottom lip and makes that bottom lip look even fuller. And voila, you have beautiful pouty, look like you got lip filler lips. And I wanna tell you that the L'Oreal Color Riche, it does not bleed at all. But if you have a problem with that, probably the best one I've found lately is the new Fenty Beauty one. This is my favorite one. And this new one is called Riri. And these are called, I'm trying to read here, Traced Out Pencil Lip Liners. These last a very, very long time. So if you're looking for one that is super creamy going on, but budge proof afterwards, and you've been wanting to try, I love that color. I actually have two or three of these that I really like. But the L'Oreal Color Reach does a great job as well. I hope you enjoyed this. Take a peek right here at this video that is all about eyeliner and how to get your eyeliner to make your eyes pop and never underestimate that in a mature woman. So hope you're doing well. Love you much. Catch you in my next video. Goodbye, friends.